All right, and we're back to this awful part. Um, series of grass that was that was actually just stress stressful. But but we're back to our videos, so let's just get started. I think this is the door. This is the dense trees. I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest. I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean. Where were the campers who had abandoned their site? Would I meet them too? Though the path ahead of me was less dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? I honestly don't know what to think of this game. It's a really interesting game. Just a lot of missing pieces. Not missing pieces that, that the game created. Just something to think about. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts of a auto parts factory where I had worked as a machinist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. That's not the wind, buddy. Hmm. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh. Thought the door locked. I got really scared for a second. Every part of this plant smelled and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. This is the last mistake that you could ever make. Board contained yellow clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Sounds cool. This is a really interesting game. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Jeez. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. No, don't do it again. Open lock were stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a woman of a photo taped to the inside, but it was scratched out. The face was unrecognizable. Power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Yeah. Shut tight. Rusty little looking card on the side. Oh, there's card slot. I didn't know if this is. What is this? Wait a second. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Sorry, guys. Going through so many doors. Uh. It was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables bursted, burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear, and cobwebs had collected the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. The blockers hung open, its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. This led to outside. Found the body of a security guard just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. Wonder, was this flashlight his? Dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. First my wallet, and now this. Did I receive my watch? Yeah. The watch was useless, but uh, yeah, I put it on my wrist anyway. I have a feeling like... He did all this. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Like, what if he is like, because he talks about how he remembers things. He doesn't remember doing all this. 
An old break table. The layers of dust and grime only made sing this thing. This thing more. It would have been hastily boarded up. Yeah, that's gonna come breaking down in a second. <sighs> Game is still really creepy. This was Norman's knock locker. This, the door was dented, like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when we worked here. Another panel. I hope could help me get the power back on. Utility shelves crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Yeah. Notice it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools in the shelf. Let's smash some people's faces in. The locker was um completely a mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take the card? Yes. Because this key card will help us get in the door that's downstairs. Okay, guys, so anytime I see these panels, I'm just going to press it. So, just be wary of that. You won't be able to read it, so, because I'm just going to press it. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Um, this is going to get, this key card that I just picked up is going to get me into... Oh, Lord. That was kind of creepy. It's going to get me into two different rooms. I got to... Let's go in here. I believe it is in here. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I think it should be in there. Let's go. Yeah. Did I use a key card? Yes, I did. Oh God, that was loud. Um. Hatch. Is there any way out? Oh God. There was some kind of ventilation hatch here. It looks like I can jump to the room below. My leg hurt enough as it was, but I couldn't see another option. Did I jump? And my leg went hell. Just come with the blood on the floor. It had been scratched. I believe it was hard. Most of the letter was violently scratched out with what looked like to be a ballpoint pen. All I can make out was need to just don't drinking need Norman who is Norman writing to All right. guys give me a second all right we're back it was it's only been like 10 minutes It looked like he had met his uh, uh, I need to. I had to get home to Rachel, but I couldn't stop thinking about Norman. He and Rachel were friends. Could he help? It wasn't like I really had anyone else to turn to. My leg burned with pain. I hope, only hoped I could find my way through the dark path before me and get to Norman's store. All right, before we go, I think I should cut it right here. Right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode. I think this was a short episode. Um, just a little, just being in the factory itself was just going to be a short episode. But anyway, uh, thank you, Diaritos, for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. That really helps out a lot. And anyway, have a good day. Thanks.